Hello, Reverend Evan Sackett once again. <clears throat> On this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my newest book, which as of right now is not finished. But I would say in about no more than about four months, I will have completed my newest book. It is a novel entitled The Barbaric Soul. Basically, this book is in my genre of what I would like to refer to as realistical horror. And although I don't want to give too much of the book away, but as you begin reading the story, it comes off as a, a horror story, a regular horror story, and it definitely crosses the line into fantastical fiction. And um, I know this sounds like it may be slipping away from my type of genre, it's, it may sound like uh, the storyline is in no way realistic, but at the end of the story, you realize that, yes, it is realistic. And that's all I can tell you about it as far as the ending goes. The book basically follows a character named James, who is, by all means and by American standards, a very successful individual. He has a wife. He has a very good job. He has himself together until he and his wife rent a very nice home. This very nice home that they just rented is their dream home, and it makes them feel complete. Once James has moved into this home, he feels like he has accomplished all of his goals. He's with his wife, he's got his nice house, everything's fine and fucking dandy. However, as things progress, James notices that the house is extraordinarily cold all of the time. Things just don't seem right. Now, there is a painting hanging on the wall, a very extravagant painting, an abstract painting, similar to, I would like to think, my own paintings. If you watch one of my earlier videos, you will see that black and red painting hanging on my office wall. Um, I would imagine the painting to be similar to that. Anyway, the painting was done by an individual named Joseph Hike, who died in 1969 or actually 1970. Joseph Hike was a former SS guard at a Nazi concentration camp entitled Auschwitz. He was a very barbaric individual, a very savage man, but he was also an artist. And he raised a family in the town in which J James and his wife are now living in. Uh, Joseph Hikes and his family didn't live in the house that James is living in, but he did do the painting that hangs on James's wall, and James will find out that that painting is literally a portal to hell. Now, Joseph, Joseph Hike was, as I said, a very barbaric individual. He is the barbaric soul, as in reference to the title of the book. Now, Je Joseph Hike had a family also. He had a wife and two beautiful twin daughters around the ages of 17. Then one day, Joseph decides to make art out of his family. He brutally murders his wife, and he takes his daughters and locks them in their bedrooms, um, bonding them to their beds and starving them over the course of about five weeks. One of the daughters becomes so thin that she's literally a skeleton with skin wrapped around her. Joseph occasionally comes in and feeds her macaroni mixed with lard. Now, I got this concept from a woman that actually did things like this to her daughters. She had two 18-year-old daughters, and one of them she starved beyond recognition to the point of death almost, and she forced fed her own daughter macaroni, large amounts of macaroni and cheese mixed with pure lard. She was obviously trying to make her fat and ruin her appearance because she was jealous of how attractive her daughter was. Back to the story, Joseph Hike does this to his daughters. Horrible shit. And one of the daughters he kills, the other daughter he burns in her bed. Now, his entire family has been slaughtered. At this point, Joseph Hike completes the painting that now hangs on James's wall and commits suicide himself. That's the end of Joseph Hike. But as the story progresses, James traces the origin of the painting and discovers where the painting came from and the story of Joseph Hike. And as he goes on, he sees that this has happened. Now, I want to give you guys a little bit of insight about my other books in case 
you would like to order them off of my website because there's not much information about the books on the website and you can't really give much information about books without giving the book away. So I'm going to tell you a little bit. The Boundaries is basically a book of poetry, my type of poetry, and if you kind of listen to what I'm saying, you'll realize that I am not exactly the most censored person in the world. My poetry is about human suffering. It's about the the tortures of being alive. Clarisville is a screenplay. I don't know if any of you like to read screenplays, but it is available to order if you would. It's a screenplay about small town corruption involving drugs and police. Definitely in, in the uh, category of a film like The Departed or Goodfellas.